Hey you guys, this is Nathan back with another video. Today we are asking the question, is Photoscape X dead? And this is a video that I've been contemplating making for a while now. And I finally decided to sit down and make this video. So is Photoscape X dead? Honestly, it looks like it might be. Uh, Photoscape X has not had an update for well over a year now. And unfortunately, um, last update, though there were some good things that they added, it was not a massive update. And for people who are wanting to see Photoscape X try to rival uh, bigger photo editing softwares or other up and coming softwares, really Photoscape X isn't competing um, like it should if it really wanted to have attract a lot of new users and things like that. Um, also, the community of Photoscape X, unfortunately, is a pretty small community, and it's something where if you make a video on Photoscape X, it's, you're probably going to be about maybe five other people might be making other videos about Photoscape X versus other software where it, like Photoshop and Lightroom or uh, Affinity Photos. Those are going to be softwares there. People are making dozens and potentially hundreds of videos on those softwares every single day where if you have a specific question it's going to be easier to have those questions answered in those other softwares rather than in a software like Photoscape X. So that's why effectively Photoscape X is dead or it just feels very much like it's on its last leg. Now the question is should you continue using Photoscape X? And am I going to continue using Photoscape X? As someone who's used it for probably about the past eight years now, I've enjoyed all my time in Photoscape X, but as someone who is aspiring to continue to improve the quality of work that he's doing, his professional work, and also his, you know, just non-professional work as well, just getting great photos of, you know, whether it's my dog or whether it's, uh, in the future when uh, my child's born, hopefully everything goes super well with that. I'm really excited to be a dad, um, but it's saying, hey, I'm gonna want the highest and best quality um, photos, videos, stuff of those moments. And for me, someone who really wants it to be professional, really high quality, something that's gonna last forever, Photoscape X does great, but really, should you you know look to move to a different piece of software so nonetheless let me explain for uh you should you potentially look to move from photoscape x first if you are a beginner in photo editing and you basically have upgraded from you know editing of the photo like cropping it on instagram or uh going into uh just uh, Microsoft and going to their photo editor and like making a little adjustment here and there and you've upgraded from that to saying hey I want to try Photoscape X I want to edit some video some photos I want to add some text maybe I'm just making memes or something you know just real basic that's totally cool and I would encourage anyone who is a beginner to pick up Photoscape X because I think it's a great free piece of software that you should be using to get your feet wet in photo editing. I've made dozens of videos on it. I think it is the best photo editing software for beginners just getting started because that means you're not paying money, which locks you into a certain software. You should probably try out Photoscape X because it's completely for free and it's not overwhelming in my opinion. I can teach someone Photoscape X 25 minutes and I will be making a 2022 Photoscape X tutorial video walk you through the entire software um, and then uh, if, if you are you know not just a beginner let's say you're intermediate if you are a hobbyist a kind of an intermediate photo editor graphic design person if it's something where you're doing this for like hey someone's anniversary is coming up hey someone's birthday is coming up oh I went and did a little photo shoot with my kids and you want to go and edit those photos or I want to put them into a collage or things like that. Honestly, Photoscape X still works extremely well for those type of things. Don't, you know, don't just, you know, throw everything out 
as far as like, oh yes, Photoscape X is dead and I'm not going to use it ever again. It still can be really helpful if you're just an intermediate and someone who's saying, hey, this is just a hobby, something I enjoy doing, but I don't want to spend a ton of money on the software. Hey, I don't need it to do everything under the sun. and I don't want a huge learning curve. Photoscape X still works out extremely well. Now, for someone who is an aspiring professional or a professional, really what people should be looking at is saying, hey, if I'm going to be, you know, trying to be the best photographer that I can be and the best editor I can be, really Photoshop and Lightroom is the way to go. It's going to be that $15 a month or whatever it's going to end up costing for you. But really, that's the best way to go in the world of photo editing um, and graphic design is to use the Adobe Suite. There are other alternatives, which would be like Affinity Photo. Uh, that is a 40 or $50 software one-time purchase if you're someone who doesn't see yourself making money consistently with photo editing i would encourage you to f try affinity photo see if you like that if not definitely go the route of adobe adobe is going to be the best that you can get and for something where you know the cutout tool in uh photoscape x has been the same ever since i started using it you know years and years and years ago unfortunately it's never going to re it doesn't seem like it's going to be getting better versus something like adobe or even affinity photo where it blows me away when i start messing with the cutout tool and different tools in those softwares it's a bigger learning curve but it's worth it at the end of the day for people who are going to be professionals people who really do want to get the most out of their photography and the most out of their projects now the question is for myself what will i be doing uh, uh, starting 2022 i will be transitioning to using adobe adobe lightroom and adobe photoshop um, and that will be for the most part i would say 80 90 percent of my edits will be done in that software and yes they have mobile apps as well i might be doing some in there but for the most part, 90% of my photo editing will be done in Photoshop and Lightroom. Being done as professionally as possible to get the best results possible. It will be a learning curve, but I'm hoping that that won't be too bad and I'll be able to really excel. Having you know gone through Photoscape X and I feel I've really mastered it. There are times I still get surprised by new things it can do, but uh, for me, Adobe will fit best for myself and I do definitely encourage people to check out Affinity. I will uh, be purchasing Affinity as well just so I can teach it uh, and I do definitely encourage Affinity with their community they have and all their different things they're doing. I would encourage them to continue to try to rival Photoshop and Lightroom as much as possible. Uh, nonetheless, I don't think Photoscape X is trying to do that, uh, rival these other softwares. And I think they've really dropped the ball in a lot of ways. And that's why for me, uh, you know, I almost feel like I'm on Shark Tank, but I'm like for me, I'm kind of out. Now, moving forward, I know there's a lot of people who are subscribed to me who love Photoscape X and who want tutorials, who want to know different things about Photoscape X. I will continue to make videos on Photoscape X, especially if they do come out with an update or if they do have any news or anything that um, I haven't covered in the past. Uh, so definitely send me those questions. Let me know if you have projects that you have questions on. And I could definitely go back because Photoscape X is a second nature to me. Um, if you guys have questions, usually I can pull up an old video or I can pull up uh, and just make a new video real quick. Um, but nonetheless, I hope that this has been helpful for you guys to uh, kind of think through Photoscape X. I'm really trying to get a lot of things in order for next year, 2022. And one of those things is for me to trans, uh, try to transition over to Photoshop and Lightroom and maybe I'll dabble in Affinity as well. But nonetheless, you guys, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.